The myth that cancer is contagious is a very common myth. So we know that cancer is caused by genetic changes. Certain infections can increase the risk of cancer. Halo sahabat semuanya, welcome to Bincang Bincang. Hari ini saya bersama Dr. Thomas So, dokter spesialis onkologi di Clinical Hospital Singapore. Kita akan bahas topik menarik. Apakah kanker bisa menular? Ini terutama kanker yang disebabkan oleh virus, misalnya kanker hati atau kanker mulut rahim. Kita langsung tanyakan kepada ahlinya. Sebelumnya perkenalkan saya Dr. Tony Setiobudi, spesialis bedah tulang di Mount Elizabeth Hospital Singapore. Saya akan mengupas topik-topik menarik lain bersama para dokter yang ahli di bidangnya. Jadi jangan lupa subscribe dan aktifkan lonceng notifikasinya. Hi Thomas, how are you today? Hey, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, some cancers are related to viral infection such as hepatitis causing liver cancer. and human papilloma virus causing cervical cancer. In this kind of situation, is cancer contagious? So let me clarify. Cancer itself is not contagious. Cancer is uncontrolled growth of cells in a person's body. It is a normal cell that has gone bad. So it is actually unique to that person. When a person's cancer cell is transplanted to another person, whether or not it's a normal cell or whether or not it's a cancer cell, it will be regarded by another person as a foreign and there will be a reaction to reject or attack them. The myth that cancer is contagious is a very common myth. Yeah? It probably arose because people have observed patterns among family members or within a certain community right, of people. Now we understand cancer better, so we know that cancer is caused by genetic changes. As you correctly pointed out, certain infections can increase the risk of cancer, yep. right, such as hepatitis virus, yep. H. pylori, human papilloma virus, and HIV. Now, these are all infectious and can be passed from one person to another. So, the virus is infectious, but the cancer that is caused by the virus is not infectious. That's right, Tony. Okay, you mentioned some infections that can cause cancer. Can these infections be treated? So, if we are able to identify some of these infections, we can actually treat the infections. For example, hepatitis C can be treated and eradicated uh, successfully now. Um, H. pylori, which causes stomach cancers and certain lymphomas, can be identified through endoscopy, can be identified through a blowing test, and they can be treated with antibiotics. What about HIV? Can it be cured? So HIV, treatment nowadays has improved tremendously over the years. With current modern antiviral treatment, the risk of cancer developing from HIV infections have decreased dramatically. Now, to push it one step further, it is also important to know that certain infections can be prevented. For example, hepatitis B as well as HPV which causes liver cancer and cervical cancer respectively. Just now, we mentioned a few viruses that can cause cancer. As we know, with virus, there are vaccinations. Can vaccination help to reduce the risk of cancer? So vaccination itself reduces the infection and definitely will reduce the incidence of cancer if that person does not even get the virus. For example, for hepatitis B, there are successful nationwide vaccination programs, including Singapore. 
Um, and if you look at other countries' experience, such as Taiwan, for example, that started their vaccination program earlier, their incidence of liver cancer related to hepatitis B has also dramatically decreased over the years. Mm -hmm. Similarly, for HPV that causes cervical cancer, uh, the HPV vaccination all right, has almost but eradicated all right, uh, cervical cancer uh, in the UK. They just published this data just uh, recently. Yeah, so it is actually the result of a successful uh, vaccination. So the cohort that received vaccination, uh, there were hardly any incidents of cervical cancer. They managed to actually prevent that. So yes, it actually works. Okay, so actually vaccination is a powerful tool to prevent viral related cancer. Right. Yes, Tony. So some infections can cause cancer, but the cancer itself is not contagious. So do we need to avoid people with cancer? So the answer is no, actually. You are able to be in close proximity uh, with people with cancer. In fact, it's necessary to provide them with support, especially if they are undergoing the battle with cancer. This is including cancer that is related to viral infection or any other infection? That's right. For example, for the longest of time, people with HIV uh, were avoided by many people. Yeah, But we now know that it's okay to share food with them. It's okay to be in close proximity with them. Yeah, Especially if they are also undergoing treatment. Um, and so the same goes for patients with cancer. There is absolutely no need to avoid them. Okay, thank you so much, Thomas, for insightful information today. Kita semua sudah belajar banyak. Terima kasih juga para pemirsa yang setia menemani di setiap waktu. Silahkan tulis komen dan pertanyaan di bawah ini. Dan jangan lupa subscribe, like, dan share video ini. Dan sampai jumpa di bincang-bincang berikutnya. Bye-bye.